political parties, we're getting their reaction. This time around, we're getting the reactions of uh, a major opposition in the race. I'm being joined tonight uh, by uh, a chieftain of uh, the New Nigeria's People's Party, Alaji Buba Galadima. Thank you so much indeed for coming tonight. Thank you, Sharon. Sure. Uh, let's begin, and let me get your feel about the process generally. Do you have a sense of trust and confidence in the process that INEC is going to deliver a free and fair election? Well, Sharon, you've been out of this country for some time, therefore... <laughs> not for some time, a few days. I you may not be Sharon. very, very conversant with the current very political Very much, more than what you think, Galadia, Galadima. You know, for what had happened this morning, there is a lot of room for concern that for INEC, for example, to come out and say, look, the INEC chairman is not being removed. It's a statement by INEC. There are a lot to it which most media and journalists do not know. Can you tell the us? The INEC chairman is under extensive pressure to temper with the Electoral Act because the, the ruling party wanted to table an issue before the National Assembly such that they will give INEC, I mean, force the chairman to write to National Assembly that I, it should not be compelling on INEC to use the B, Beavers machine. And uh, this is a greatest disservice and an unpatriotic thing that some elements in the ruling party are trying to put Could forward. this be true? I mean, it, it appeared like a rumor because INEC had come to say, we are sticking with the beavers, we will use it. And it's been captured in the INEC guidelines and in fact, in the electoral law that INEC will use any of the technology device that it deems fit. Yes, it's correct. In the Electoral Act. They want to amend the Electoral Act. Therefore, I want the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, General Muhammad Buhari, to take a note of some bad elements that wants to spear, smear his image when he leaves office. You could have listened to Senator Kabiru Gaya, the chairman on INEC, who recently was on national television telling the world that INEC must be given an alternative either to use or not to use the beavers. Because in his own constituency of Gaia, which is in the middle of Kano State, there is no network to, to, to transmit results. He's only preparing grounds for what they have designed as a party because they know this election they have lost. He, in particular, is eating his last loaf of blood, uh, bread in the Senate. Why did he say so? Because he can never win an election against the Kao Smela. You have seen the gathering. I wonder that uh, when you are putting clips of other parties, you didn't put the clip of NNPP to show the world that we are the party to beat in this uh, election. Are you on the ground? We are deeply rooted. Foundation. Beyond Kano. Let's assume it is only Kano. Kano has a registered voters of six point something million people. And any candidate that has a base of six starting point six million votes is the candidate to beat. So why should you leave a candidate with a base? and chase the one that is floating in the air, who have no political base. Which is, which is? All of them, because you said only, you say Kano. No, no, I'm asking Which of question. the candidates has any base? Tell me, tell from you are the politicians, you are the experienced ah, politicians. Well, yeah. you know better, you are asking me. Konko, so right, Kano, but you've seen him in Akwaibom. When we went to Akwaibom, the crowd, with all the rain, the crowd we've put together, is 10 times the crowd that was put for PDP uh, Southeast Zonal Rally. And in fact, when you, look at the, when you look at the stadium, 
two sides of the stadium is empty. And those that are occupied were occupied by school children in uniform. So, have you seen us in Lagos for the second time? Does the uh, rally crowd really amount to real support on the ground? And I'd like to ask you, because INEC has received um, the, the, uh, the party's uh, membership uh, details and the number of the party membership details. How many members do you have? Let me tell in you. NNPP. We are a new party. We are a new party. That is why we made an innovation for the last two months to visit states and open our offices. Now we have become a role model that the APC and the PDP are doing the same, but they are, they are 23 years old. Is because they copy from us. Let me tell you something. If we are not the party to beat, why should other political parties budget billions of Naira to buy PVCs from all over the country because they thought the Talakawas who follow Konkoso must be disenfranchised, not by rhetorics or by campaign, but by buying their PVCs off. This is what is happening. And the security agencies are not doing their job. I saw you just now. You said somebody else was arrested in Sokoto in possession of 100 voters' cards. That has been arrested by our own Conquasia guards all over Northwest and handed over to the police. They are doing that because they are trying to erode Conquasia's base. But uh, uh, clarify, now that you are here, um, I know that there is a lot of alignment, realignment, and uh, working together, handshake that will happen before the election itself. Do you want to also and hold asking, the view? Do you also want let, to hold the view? Let me finish the question. Has been libeled that Kokoso is working for somebody? No, no, no. Let me ask. Does he look like somebody yes. working for somebody? Are you, are you a minister? Does, the, does, does the, that the gathering let me ask and the, the question. people you have just shown like here Duma. indicate May I ask that Kokoso <laughs> can step down for any. May I ask Nigeria? the question? May I on ask what the, basis? Did, what do we do? Do you, do you read what minds? What do we do? Just hold on. What do we do Alaji with our Galadi, candidates? Alaji Galadima. We were, we were, just we hold on. If we I may ask the question, we just hold on. From Alaji Galadima, Alaji, we were expelled would from you allow PDP? me to ask the question? Just hold on, Alaji Galadima. Let me ask the question. <laughs> You're preempting me. Now, the question is, is there a possibility of a merger, of an alignment with PDP or APC? Which section of the Electoral Act or Constitution allows that at this particular time? So there are no plans by your party? Uh, you your tell candidate. me, uh, unless the law permits. I don't think the law has any provision for that now. But we have seen it in the past. Where political, just a moment, where political parties, one political party aligns with another political no. party. Just a moment. No. And to, hold on, Alaji. And it, te it tells his followers and supporters to f vote for another political party because they are now working together. How can the majority wo win, uh, work for the minority? We are the minority. All the other parties are minorities as far as NNPP is concerned. But you have just shown on the screen the kind of followership that the man has, oh. and we don't give one penny to invite anybody. Do you, you know the other time we were in Kano last weekend? Uh, Ado, Ado, listen, Ado, listen. Ado, hold on. Ado, you said that we don't play your video, so that's your video. So, <laughs> somebody with this, kind of, with this kind of support, you, I think those who say this are not unpatriotic, but even out of their minds. Mm. Konkoso is the man to beat in this election. And all the candidates put together, all of them, I'm telling you, let them produce one candidate. And let there be free, fair, and transparent election. As far as Nigerians will vote, 
Pongkaso would be the president. Let me ask you. So you are not a neophyte. You are not a newbie in the politics in Nigeria, uh, except if mischief is going to be drawn into this. And I like you to, because you are that kind of person, um, you and I, we've had our time on television, <laughs> either good or bad. So Good always. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I, I know that with your age, lies will not come out of our conversation. You always speak truth. How would Kwan Kwan so win this election? Give us your own permutations. What fine. are the figures saying? Fine. Where would you, do you think Kwan Kwan so win? Correct, correct, fine. First, PDP is not even on the ballot. How? What because do you mean? the strength of the PDP is in the southeast, which has been eroded by Peter Obi. The strength of the PDP, next, is in the south south, with the WK never to support Atiku. South South is gone. Is gone. And with, with Udom not picked as the vice presidential candidate, I don't think he can use his money to counter Wike's influence in the South East. And Wike is not only strong in the South East. Wike commands 14 states of Nigeria for PDP. All of them follow him. Five serving governors, nine gubernatorial candidates outside PDP controlled states all belong to Wike. It is what Wike decides that will happen in the PDP. So, and the Northeast is completely Konkoso is How? born. Yes, because How? Konkoso will win Taraba, he will win Adamawa, he will win Gombe, Has he, done he will win Bauchi, Has he done including before? governorship. Just let, look, I don't want to talk frivolities. You know that. You are my witness. Everything I have said here had come to pass. And Nigerians will be able to hold except, on. Except that you told me in 20, before 2019 that Atiku Abubakar was going to win the election. He won. He was denied. You know he won. What? You can't swear by the Bible. I know you believe no, in God. Why do I swear? Why do uh, I so swear? That's, 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 because the that reality is that if Atiku Abubakar won the election, he's not the president. No, 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 no not president. in Nigeria. And the court has said no, can't that you he's not see, the president. Now, let me make another point. That here with you, I argued that Buhari must sign that electoral act in 2019. And he came out to say he was not going to sign because it is less than six months to election. Now they want to change the law because they are losing when it is only four months to the elections. So there is nothing I say. In fact, let me tell you that if you see any, any reorganization of any of the security systems in this country, Tell me, be assured that there is something up the sleeves of those who would advise the president to do that. And they have already made that arrangement. They want to go and convince the president to do that in order to help them win election. I call on Nigerians that they must take their destiny into their hands and that they must resist, including the international community, must resist all maneuvers to temper with the Electoral Act which has already been agreed for. It is already less than four months to an election. The Electoral Act must stay, and the elections must be conducted with this Electoral Act. There and is... for Kwanko, so listen to me. Mm. He will win the Northeast. He will win the North Central. He will win the Northwest. Both combined, they have over 50-something 50, 50 million voters. So, and Konkoso will poach the South South, Konkoso will poach part of the South East, Konkoso will poach part of the South West. I assure you that all Nigerians who desire freedom, who desire development, who desire progress, who desire their children to go to school, who desire health services, have no other person to vote for except Senator Rabiu Musa Konkoso, F-N-C-E-P-H-D. Anagi Buba Galadema, I'd like to ask you, because I know politics is science, except if you are speaking as a spiritualist, maybe you are conjuring some political powers from uh, somewhere I don't know, or maybe uh, it's a permutation and you're speaking in, in prophecy, or you are trying uh, to, by faith, speak some figures to, to life. 
you've not spoken to how your candidate Kwon Kwon so is going to get all of these votes that you've talked about. Why should Nigerians vote Kwon Kwon so? What does Kwon Kwon so bring to the table? Why is Kwon Kwon so better than the other candidates on the ballot? Thank you very much, Sheon. I, I would rather clap for you for asking this question. First, is there any candidate in this election that is half educated as Kwon Kwon so? Half, not full. PhD in engineering. Which of them? Is there any candidate that has touched the life, lives of ordinary Nigerian as Kongoso did? Is there any candidate that practically, verifiably, touchable that had a performance while in public office as Kongoso has done? Is there any candidate whose word is his bond among all as Konkoso? Is there any candidate of all of them that is as healthy, as healthy, as intelligent, and had the wide experience, legislative, diplomatic, and executive as Konkoso? Is there any that puts him miles and miles ahead of all of them? But why are the polls not in his favor? Uh, have you seen the polls? It's okay. Let's assume the polls are correct. So I sit down here, I conducted my poll, and I'm saying that Konkoso is the winner. Does that make it a, re a reality? But that's not how polls work. Oh, how do they work? They go to the field, the scientific If I just sit down, research. By who? By those who are professional uh, in carrying out the polls. Please, forget about them. Contrived polls. There was somebody, one of the leading presidential candidates, hired a consultant from France to give him an honest position as to who is likely to win this election. And the polls or the consultant told them that the man that will win this election, unless something else happened, is Senator Rabiu Musa Konkoso. And that if there is an inconclusive election, that it is only between Konkoso and one other person. I wouldn't mention the other one. Who the person? I uh, know. You go do your research. Shebi, you said uh, you, you do polls. No, I don't do polls. I'm saying. Ask those, those who, who do the polls, tell you the truth. They know the truth. That is why every candidate, look, one of the candidates gathered all the clergy in northern Nigeria and ask them to persuade Konkoso to step down for him. Who is the One of the candidates, Who is the candidate? gathered all the traditional rulers in, Ni in northern Nigeria to ask them to ask Konkoso to step down for him. One of the candidates went to all prominent people from northern Nigeria and asked them to persuade Konkoso to, to step down for him. One of the candidates gathered recently in Kaduna a conglomeration of, of, of faceless groups to say that they should, every candidate should now come and, 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 and put forward his manifesto as to what he will do to the North. As if Northerners don't know who is their friend. Is it what you will do as a politician that will stand you out or what you had done that will be a witness to what you can do in future? Why did your Look, candidate uh, why, not attend? Why is it, Just why, no, no, listen now. Why is it that every candidate tr try to throw a, 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 a spanner, say, oh, Konkoso is working for this. Oh, Konkoso will step down for this. Why don't they look, go and look for votes? Why was Konkoso absent at the Arawa me meeting in Kaduna? Because uh, in Islam, any woman, a believer, cannot, cannot be beaten twice by a snake. Konkoso was beaten. Some of those people that gathered in Kaduna were the ones that went to Patakot in 2019 to say that the North has decided that so, 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 so is the candidate of the North. And that worked against the Konkoso, and he lost the primaries in, 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 in Patakot. We know them. We know their character. They are, some of them are our friends. They, we know each other. We know their views. Why should Konkoso go and take himself to the slaughterhouse to be slaughtered when he knows their position 
and who their master is. Because we also that, know yeah. that it was that candidate mm -hmm. that paid for everything concerning that arrangement. When he was to appear and they set a date and he traveled out of the country, they postponed the, 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 the event. When his campaign program showed that he's going to be in Kaduna for three days, they now said the, 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 the candidates should come and present their manifesto. First day, second day he had a rally in Kaduna, they, 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 they stopped the event until the other day. That uh, goes to suggest we're out of that time, they are uh, Alaji Galadima, Alaji Galadima, because in politics there is no impossibility. Anything can happen. I mean, a day before the election, anything can happen. Yes. If there is any possibility of working together with any of the candidates, who do you think your candidate can work with? For now, for now, we believe we can win the election first ballot. If that doesn't happen, then we can ask any of them, because Kwankoso is going to be, at least have the majority votes on that day for that election, we will ask one of them to support us. Because I will still or bring you back them. on this program. Should Kwankoso lose this election, what would you do? Kwankoso? Mm -hmm. I can't imagine him losing. If well, he loses, he does. if he loses, it means that the election was compromised. Because this is not the first time your permutations are wrong. No, it has never been wrong. You are my witness. No. You, you are my you witness. You told me I took up I was going to win. If I'm taken to the Supreme Court, I will invite you uh, to you, give evidence. You have told me where I took up work, I will win the he election, the fourth the election. ballot. The I, same way you were I confident. Say, I say he but, won the election. Well, the, the court didn't say so. Uh, well, the, well, the well, I don't I want, want to ask for into that. All right. Thank you so much, Elijah Mubarak Galadima. It's always a pleasure having you around. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. But that's our show for today, everyone. Many thanks for watching. I'm Shiwa Kimbale. God bless Nigeria. Bye-bye.